Hi, this is Darius Barzani. I wanted to make this quick five minute video kind of sharing my own haunting story. And if you are curious about uh, ghosts, entities, disincarnates, um, frequencies, energies that might be in your home, and what it feels like to kind of have these things in your field, and maybe you're trying to figure out, is this me? Is this really what's going on where I live? It happens a lot. We hear it a lot from people, and I'm gonna share my story right now. If you enjoy this content, uh, you can click the subscribe button and also click the little notification bell. I do a lot of different videos on higher consciousness and things like this, so uh, we are all awakening to some new truths. Now, let's talk a little bit about my haunting story because we bought a farmhouse in 2015 and it was a beautiful place, really happy, white, you know, Victorian looking farmhouse on a hill, absolutely gorgeous land, but it was haunted. I mean, there was some energies around the land, some energies around the house that were just there. And um, the moment I drove up there, I could feel a heaviness. And that's one of the first signs of a haunting or something in the energy that is not normal. Um, I had uh, just a very strong, heavy feeling continuously when I was there and it would be okay for like the first 15 20 minutes but then I would start to get really sad and it was strange because it wasn't that I was sad you know when I started my day or when I drove over there I was fine I was actually feeling normal and yet eventually like something would be pulling me down and I would just feel like this deep hopelessness now that was the energy of what was around there and I assume if it was something else that was maybe holding anger I could have felt anger I could have felt uh, all sorts of things maybe an impulsion to gamble or impulsion to drink alcohol all sorts of things probably could be a potential set of things that you start sort of feeling this impulsiveness towards well, as time went on, we started also noticing a ton of water leaks. Water leaks in every way, like the same pipe breaking three times, uh, pool pipes breaking, uh, all sorts of things going on with water, which is another sign that there is a uh, energetic issue going on in the home or the place that you live. So if you see a lot of water issues, that's another sign. My wife, as I shared in an earlier video, actually saw a woman in a Victorian dress on the top floor of the property of the house overlooking the pasture. So that was another strange sign. My kids saw something dark in the kitchen uh, standing there by the counter, and that was yet another sign. And so as we started going down this path, um, we started realizing like, okay, there is stuff here. We had people do some work and some clearing work and some reading. And one of the strangest things about this was that um, one of our dear friends, Courtney Levins, came by and she came with her husband, Cord, and many of you know Courtney from our show. And they came with their RV and they stayed with us. And she said that there was a pioneer family that was actually, uh, had been traveling through the land and had some sort of accident or some sort of illness, maybe like influenza or something at the time in the 1800s and died and that they were actually living on the land and they actually would frequent and visit the home. And she also mentioned something really strange that these pioneer family, this pioneer family was actually living <clears throat> in the walls of the house in the boys room upstairs because they loved the boys energy. Now they weren't necessarily malevolent or bad, but there may have definitely been some sadness, some definite energies of sadness that they were holding on to that were being intuited by me and that I was feeling. So Courtney did some clearing work. The home got you know better in many respects. Um, we ended up selling it for a few different reasons. Uh, that was not one of them, but um, it always felt a bit off. And I suspect it's quite possible there was other stuff going on in that place, maybe some other things going on, a vortex or something else. And I heard from a few other people that that was a possibility. So is it possible that a place can make you feel not like yourself? 100% absolutely. And if you are buying a home, if you are buying a property, you're gonna know pretty quick whether it is something that is uh, in the right vibration. And I would recommend 
you spend some time there. If you can't necessarily uh, be inside for long periods of time without the realtor, go visit the house, park by it, um, <clears throat> spend some time feeling into the energy and you will know whether or not that is a place that is gonna uplift and augment your energy or whether it is gonna lower your energy and your frequency. So that's about all I could think about with that house. It was um, really interesting time and time again, all of that happened. I did end up saging the house, but that helped for a little while, but whatever it was, it came back. Uh, so there is a point where you may need some more powerful help. And that's one of the things that we do. We have a session uh, with an amazing guest named Peg Rose that actually does home whispering. And you'll find it in some of my videos uh, and you can find her information. She's truly incredible. But one of the things that I would recommend is getting some help. And it could be a Catholic priest. It could be... Um, having somebody who has knowledge about this and looking at your local resources or contacting somebody from our show, uwealthrevolution.com. So if you have any questions, I'll put a link to our support line and we can certainly put you in contact with somebody who could help remotely because it is a real deal. And you have to also know that these feelings may not be yours. They may be somebody else's. Much love and um, you'll hear a little bit about our shows and how to attend live. There's a link down below. Thanks for listening to my story and sending love to you and all the love and light for your sovereignty, your truth, and what you really are, which is a divine child of God. Hi, Much this love. This is Darius Barazande. And if you'd like more of this type of content and live daily energy help, we have Monday through Thursday live daily energy calls with some of the world's greatest healers, teachers, and masters where they will read your energy, answer your questions, and even provide deep one-on-one -on -one clearing help. And every day, there's a brand new soul healing activation. You can find it all. It's 100% free. It's something we do for the planet, and it is the first link in the description to join our live calls. They are amazing.